Sierra Leone, a country on the southwest coast of West Africa, shares border with Liberia in southern eastern parts and with Guinea in northern half of the nation. The country is home to about 20 distinct language groups, reflecting a diversity of culture and traditions. The country has a special significance in the history of transatlantic slave trade as a departure point during the British rule. The country ad attained independence from British colonies in 1961 and officially became Republic of Sierra Leone. The post-independence journey for the nation was not easy. 1991 Civil war broke out, capturing towns on the border with Liberia. Former Army Corporal Fodo Sankon and his Revolutionary United Front, known as RUF, began campaign against President Joseph Saito Momo. Tension in the nation continues to grow because the number of troops were never higher than 2,000. The diamond industry of Sierra Leone started to known as Blood Diamonds for their role in funding conflicts in civil war. Over 20,000 illegal miners lost their livelihood after two military operations. The overall economy situation was made worse by the war. The tension in the country continues to grow. In 2000, United Nations helped the country to end the civil war. Hundreds and thousands of troops of the United Nations were abducted. And finally, the rebel leader, Fodo Sankon, captured. Two years later, in the year 2022, the war was finally over. A decade later, in February 2012, the Ministry of Health and Sanitization in Sierra Leone were notified of unusual high number of acute watery diarrhea cases. In July 2012, Sierra Leone began to experience a dramatic rise in the incidence of cholera cases. On 16 of August 2012, the President Koroma declared the cholera outbreak as a public health emergency paving the way for the more national and international response. On August 24, the outbreak prompted the Ministry of Health and Sanitization to request a technical assistant with the investigation of outbreak and assessment of the response efforts. The West Africa Ebola virus disease outbreak is the largest outbreak in history. Sierra Leone experienced first case of Ebola virus in May 2015 in eastern part of the country as it borders Liberia and Guinea. The outbreak progressed from general localized epidemic to populated east to the urban and the suburban areas. Eventually, virus reaches to all 14 districts of Sierra Leone and then Sierra Leone declared the state of emergency to tackle the deadly Ebola outbreak in West Africa, which persisted into the year 2016, killing more than 11,000 people in the region of Sierra Leone. To avoid the catastrophic cessation of any healthcare facility, a novel Ebola holding unit known as EHU model was developed. EHU was a safe site for the isolation and the testing of potential EVD in patients. Human to human transmission directly linked to the 2014 Ebola virus disease outbreak in West Africa was declared to end it in Sierra Leone on 7 of November 2015. In last decade, Sierra Leone has two communicable disease outbreaks, one after the next. Both de these incidents revealed the serious weakness in the country health system, lack of knowledge, human resource capacity, as well as infrastructure to spot, track, and control the epidemic. It is a high time to dive into Sierra Leone healthcare system policies, plans, and agendas to understand where the country is lacking in improving the healthcare for the people of Sierra Leone.